welcome back i'm gonna do a budget video today and we're gonna go over how to budget your expenses to make sure that your money works for you okay um we want to take advantage of uh our lives and making sure that any money that comes in is accounted for and um this will assist you to do what you want to do and, and have an ultimate goal. So we always want to make sure that uh, we follow these directives. So first I'm going to do, um, and as you can see, you probably can see my light in this. Um, so don't pay it any attention, uh, my ring light. But we're just going to get into it. I felt like this is a good canvas to start with. Um, so just follow along. So we're going to do a weekly budget and it's going to be budget by paycheck, okay? So first we're here, we're gonna write expenses. All right, and then you're going to go down all of your expenses on both, if you have a sheet of paper, that's fine too, but you're gonna do it based off of the date that the expenses are due. So we're gonna do rent. We're going to do rent insurance, renter's insurance. We're going to do um, electric bill. Okay. And then you move on to the next date. So whatever is after that for the month, you move on to that date. So my streaming service, YouTube TV is due on the third of every month, okay? And then we jump to the 16th because I don't have any bills due from the third to the 16th. So uh, this is when my car note is due, right? Okay, and then we're going to go to, I have um, storage for my phone, so storage. Um, and that's just two dollars and ninety nine cent. And then credit card is due. And what you want to do with the credit card is whatever your minimum balance is, that's the number that you would want to use for your credit card because no matter what, um, your minimum balance is going to be what's due on those days. So, and then the my daughter's phone bill is due. Okay. And then internet my phone bill and then um, on the 25th, my car insurance is due as well. Okay, so then we're going to do a total. And I'm going to grab my phone. We're going to go to the calculator and um so we're going to start counting everything together so i have rent that 600 i have renters insurance that's 21 dollars. electric bill that's 50 dollars. my streaming service youtube tv is 52 i have my car note that's 250 i have iphone storage that's two dollars and 99 cent i have a credit card bill that's 25 dollars per month for my minimum I have my daughter's phone bill, which is $44 a month. I have internet expense, which is $65 a month. I have my own personal phone bill, which is $100 a month. 
and I have car insurance, which is 115. So my grand total for the month of all of my expenses would be $1,324.99, okay? So this right here is my grand total for the month. This allows you to see how much you actually have going out every single month, no matter what. These are the bills that you have to pay. These are your expenses to live. We have not included food or anything else in this equation as of yet. We're going to get to that next. But I wanted you to at least put everything down on paper. This is how, this is what best helps is if you put everything down on paper and then go to step two. So let's move on to step two. Okay, so moving on to step number two. You want to grab another piece of paper after you have done your expenses. And what you want to do is start to write down your next pay period. So since we're working on um, weekly pays, okay what we're going to do is look at the calendar and look at the next weekly pay so my next weekly pay would be june so 6 26. my following weekly pay would be um july so 7 the 3rd of july okay right in the 20 here and then the next one after that would be july this 10th so 7 10, 20, and then the following one would be July the 17th. So 7, 17, 20. Now, just as a round off to help you uh, better get the understanding of how to do this, I'm going to use a round off number uh, of a per week income amount. You want to use your net amount. That is the amount after taxes. Okay, do not use gross because the, what you're working with far as a budget and what goes in uh, goes out every month is based on your net. It's based on what you get after taxes. So you always want to use your net pay when doing this exercise, this budgeting exercise. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, and I'm just going to say we make $900 net worth. It's net, net. Okay, so after taxes every single week we make $900. So I'm gonna put that figure here. And here, so we know what we're working with. When we, when we first get our paychecks, that morning, that afternoon, whatever, um, you know what you're working with automatically. So 900, this is also gonna help know, for you to know what you have left with once you've paid all of your expenses. So the first thing I'm gonna do is 626, I have to see what paychecks here, or I'm sorry, what expenses here are due, would be due between the 26th and the third paychecks. I need to know what expenses I have to pay between this time and this time. I'm not gonna pay any bills that are on the third, okay? Because that's gonna go into this paycheck. If you get paid on a date, that a bill is due the same exact date you want to pay that bill on that date or after you're always paying the bills from this date on to get until you get to your following paycheck date okay so here the only bills that i'll have to pay are my first bills because the first is going to land between the 26th and the third okay so i want i'm going to have to pay my rent which is six hundred dollars I'm going to have to pay renter's insurance, which is $21, and my electric, which is $50, okay? So, now we have not included any food, any gas, any other expenses, okay? Uh, we have not included any of that. So I'll explain once we do this, how I get to that number. You can also add it into your expenses if you would like. I like to actually, honestly, for me, I like to do all of my main expenses, things that I know have to be paid no matter what. I put those down in expenses and then 
per week, I make up what I'm going to um, reference for as gas and food. Because those numbers, I feel like you can fluctuate. Some weeks, I might give myself a little more for food because I want to eat out that week. Um, or I want to eat out a little more that week versus gas. Some weeks, I don't drive as much as I normally drive. So I like to fluctuate those numbers based on a budget. And I like to also fluctuate those numbers based on what is coming out of paycheck. Because I might have a little more coming out of this paycheck than my following paycheck where I might have to budget um, the food and the gas a little bit more on this paycheck versus the following one. So I always put those in after I know what my actual expenses are for that paycheck. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, we're going to add this up to see how much this is going to be and then what we will be left with. Okay. So 600 for my rent, $21 for renter's insurance, $50 for electric. So a total of $673 is expenses out of this check. Okay. These bills will be paid out of the 626 check. So that leaves me with, we're going to do 900 because that's my net amount of the check that I would get that week. We're going to take away the 671 for all the bills that are due. 229 is what I will be left with. This is what I will be left with for the week. Okay, so left amount or remaining. Okay, now, now that I know I have 229 for the week, right? I am going to then budget out my gas. I'm going to budget out um, my gas and any other food expenses. It is just me and my daughter, so it is a lot easier and a lot um, cheaper to be able to budget money um, and budget it out throughout the whole entire week. It doesn't cost as much for as like food if I go get a couple meals and things like that to prepare. So what I normally do is, and my gas tank, um, it, I, it normally is like $25 to $30 to fill my gas tank up, and my gas tank does last me a whole entire week. So normally I'll do that every paycheck. So I'm going to then go here, and I'm going to go, okay, $25 for gas, and we're going to do $90 for food for the week, right? I'm also going to incorporate just $20 for spending whatever. I do that just as a cushion as well because sometimes I'll go to the market and only buy $50 worth of food. And then I'll have $40 for my food budget, whereas though I can eat out for $40 or um, if I see a dress or something I like, I can do that. You also can add in any type of money that you may need for the week. But this is the way that I do it. Um... And then, so we're going to do food here and then just basically fun money, right? So we're going to, we're, we're still, we're at 229 after our expenses are met, right? Now, now what we're going to do is we're at 229. We're going to take away 25 for gas, $90 for food, $20 for fun money. I'm left with $94. Okay. Now, so this is, we're left with $94. Right. So, what we want to do now right what i normally do is i have to get this down to zero so what am i going to do with this 94 dollars? am i going to leave this in my account am i going to spend it on a dress or something you want to make sure where you know exactly where every dollar of your money goes what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to save this i'm going to put this amount in my savings okay 
What I also do sometimes is I'll say, okay, it's $94. I'm going to take $24 and leave that in my account as a cushion just in case. So if something comes out that I don't normally know about or remember, if you know, because you know how things clear later, later on, stuff like that. So I leave it in there as a cushion just to make sure that there's something in my account at all times. So we're going to go up here and say we're 94 and you can do it the long way, which will give you more room. Um, but we have $94. We're going to take 24, right? Which would leave us with 70. Okay. 24 is going to be account. The 70 is going to go into our savings. Okay. This. is for 626. Now, all of our money, we have collectively made sure that all of our money goes somewhere, okay? All of our money goes somewhere. We got all of our expenses out the way. We got all of our needs out the way. We gave ourselves a little bit of wiggle room with, with a couple dollars for fun money. We also gave ourselves a little wiggle room for, a, for our account to make sure that we have a little something in there. We also were able to save, okay? Now we're gonna move over to the third check. All right? Now, with the third check, we only have one bill. Do you see that? We only have one bill that is due out of the third check. So most of this check is freed up, if you notice. Our next payment or our next checks, our next things that have to come out are not going to be until the 7th, the 10th. I'm sorry, the 10th. So here we're going to do 7-3, right? The only thing that is due here is our YouTube TV. Which is $52. Okay. Now we're going to do the same exercise. So $90, 900, I'm sorry, minus 52 is 848. This is what we're left with. Okay. Now, I might can go and spend, hey, I want to go shopping, right? I want to take $240 and just go buy me some sundresses with the $240, right? Or whatever the case is, you can do that because you have more out of this check than you did your following check. So here, I'm going to do the same thing. My gas is normally $25, so we're going to... um do $25 for gas. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to be a little generous this check and do a little bit more for food. So we're going to do 100 for food. Uh, we're going to up the fund money to $100 for fund money. Okay, uh, and then let's see what we're left over with. So we're at 848 minus $25 in gas, minus $100 in food money, minus $100 in fun money. So we are left with 623, okay, which is remaining. Now, I can say, okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pay off my credit card or I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my savings or I'm going to take this and uh, go buy something with half of it. You can kind of, you have wiggle room to do things, okay? What I normally do is I'll take this and put it right in my savings and or I'll start paying on one of my major bills okay which normally is my car or my credit card i pay on these two things so sometimes i'll pay more and most of the times 
mostly every month, I'll pay more than the 250 that's due because I'll pay my car off quicker doing it that way. Um, and my credit card as well. I'm trying to get my credit card down. So I will put more money. I might pay $25 each week or $25 on the weeks where I have more of an excess of remaining money left. I'll pay that towards my credit card. For the sake of this, we're just going to put this all in our savings, right? So within two weeks, we have saved $623 plus $70. So $623 plus $70 is $693. You saved almost $700 within two weeks, okay? See, and this is how all of this comes together. When you start managing your money, you'll see your money work for you. All right, so moving to the seven, the seven ten, July the tenth bill. Okay, so we have July the tenth. Our next paycheck is July the seventeenth. So the the actual amount that is due here, right, would only be the sixteenth because the nineteenth will fall into the seventeenth check. So we're only paying for anything that's due on the sixteenth. So that would be the car. So our only thing is the car, which is two fifty. Okay. So two fifty, not nine hundred, which is our net amount that we get every single week, minus two fifty is six fifty. Okay. We can do the same thing. We can roll this into our savings. We can do whatever, but we still have to take out all of our weekly expenses. So we're going to do the same over here since we have a little more than our first check. We're going to do um, the $25 for gas, $100 for food, $100 for fun money. And we're going to add, so we're going to take that away. So we're, we're at 650, right? After our car expense comes out, we're going to take away 25 for gas, 100 for food, 100 for fun money. We are left with 425. So we're going to dump that into our savings too. So now, now, right? Now our savings is looking a little husky. We on week three. We on week three. So we we have four twenty five that's left from saving, right? From this paycheck, right? We have six twenty three that's left from the paycheck prior, and then we have seventy dollars from the paycheck prior to that. So we have a total of. Eleven eighteen in our savings within three weeks. Okay, now once again, do you see how this can help you actually manage, get a savings, and come out on the other side of things? Then, if you're just spending, 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 and you're not knowing where any of your money is going, when you you're able to calculate and know where your money is going you will lead yourself to financial freedom. That is the whole point, okay? So let's do the, the next paycheck, the 17th. And let's see what the final paycheck in July is just to give us a total amount. Um, so actually there's two more paychecks in July. There's the 24th and the 30th. So we're, we're, we'll do that next, okay? Um, but we'll do, let's do 724 here. We're going to do 7, 17. So the 19th, the 22nd would fall between this date and this date. Okay. So what we're going to do is write that down. So we have phone storage. It's $2.99. We have a credit card. $25. We have my daughter's bill, phone bill, $44. All right. So same exercise. And you just do this for every single paycheck. We're going to go, okay, 900 
minus $2.99 minus 25 minus 44. We are left with 828.01 remaining. $25 for gas, $100 for food, $100 for fun money. Minus $25 for gas, $100 for food, $100 for fun money. We are left with 603.01. We're moving that into the savings. We on our saving journey. We, we getting this money and we saving it, right? So 603.01 plus the 425 left from the previous week plus the 623 left from that previous week plus the $70 left from that previous week. We're at 1721 already in our savings. We almost had two grand in a month in four weeks. See how this can really, really change the way that you look at money and the things that you do with money, okay? So now we're gonna move on to the, 20, the 24th. We have all the 25th bills within the 24th, okay? So, we're going to do that. We're going to do internet, which is $60. $65, I'm sorry. We're going to do the phone bill. $100, this is my own bill. And then we're going to do car insurance, which is $115. Now, back, same, same method, 900 minus 65 minus 100 minus 115. We are left with 620 remaining. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do 25 gas, 100 food, 100 fun money. Twenty-five gas, a hundred for food, a hundred for fun money. We are left with three ninety-five. So we're gonna do three ninety-five plus the six oh three oh one from the previous week, plus the four twenty-five from the previous week, plus the six twenty-three from that previous week, plus the seventy dollars from week one. We have officially saved two thousand one hundred sixteen dollars and one cent within five weeks of being paid. We've paid every single one of our expenses, okay? On time, on time, nothing late, okay? We have eight, we have put gas in our, our cars, we have had spending money, all right? And we have saved, right? So if you continue to do this, this is only five weeks and this is like a very minimal, uh, budget and you know pay but if you could do this even if it's you know a hundred dollars every week that you're saving even if it's you know more than that you want to make sure that you're you're collectively doing everything every single week um this has been a life changer for me and i think it's going to definitely be a life changer for you every week you just want to write down what what expenses have to come out of that check and only pay those expenses up until the following check that you get it is going to change your life tremendously make sure you like comment and subscribe we're going to be back very very soon with more videos like this stay tuned for my bi-weekly as well and i'm going to show you always also how to how i double up each month on debt um, so make sure you continue to watch. Have a good one.